now listening to the Ron Paul Radio Network, radio for the revolution. What's up, y'all? You're back. You're listening to Occupy the Media. I'm your host, Paco. I just want to shout out uh, Vegas and Nephew real quick, helping me out with the beats that I've been using, that I'll be using here on the show. So let's jump into some uh, Ron Paul news here. In case you missed it, there was an interview with Ron Paul yesterday on CBS News with Bob Schaefer. Schaefer. I just want to play that real quick, a little part. This is to be an issue. Uh, the other Republican candidates offer nothing more than the continuation of the status quo or actually increasing the militarism that we have around the world. So I think that's a losing position. What are your plans now? I mean, it seems clear to me, and you can tell me I'm wrong, but it seems clear to me that there's no way you're going to get the nomination now. Now, is that true, Bob? Is that true? If I was wrong, Paul, that's what I would have said. It, what you just said, is that a true statement? There's no way I'm going to win, then why are we still in the race? Why are we still running? Why am I getting all these delegates? Why is all this fraud going on and you guys ain't talking about it? Why I got the biggest crowds? Huh? This, this makes no sense at all, continuously. Even later on in the interview, oh, are you going to support me, Romney? Keep asking, are you going to run for a third party? I mean, this, this, is, this is why we're occupying the media, you guys. This is why we have to occupy the media, because a day-by-day basis, they, they disrespect Ron Paul. And when they disrespect him, they disrespect us. And we got to remember that. Now, into some headlines here. On March 31st at ndpolitics.com, we have here, State Republicans Fractured by Election of National Delegates. Let's see here. North Dakota's 2012 GOP convention here quickly grew out of hand and disorderly this morning after dozens of frustrated delegates raised concern over how the state's national delegates should be elected. Several delegates who support Ron Paul and Rick Santorum voiced multiple objections to the party's method for determining the delegates, specifically because they felt they were being disenfranchised by the party's traditional process. Many times, the upset supporters delayed the proceedings as party leaders and a seeming majority of the convention delegates wanted to move forward. Yeah, yeah, oh, we're breaking the rules. Don't mind us. Don't mind us. Let's keep it moving. Keep it going. Come on, sheep. However, Paul and Santorum supporters allege the party's recommended slate of nominated delegates favored Romney supporters. Chairman Stan Stein and other party leaders responded to the concerns, reiterating many times how they were following their own party rules, the RNC rules and the rules of order for the convention. No, you weren't. Oh, none of you guys are following the rules. None of you guys even know the rules because probably for the last decade or longer you haven't been following them. You, you haven't needed to. You ain't had a Ron Paul to come in and stir up the GOP. Now, so that was in North Dakota. Now we jump to, let's see here, on examiner.com, a headline, Establishment Republicans Find Ron Paul Supporters Threatening. Let's see here, the author of this article basically is talking about uh, going to his district uh, BPOU convention, that's a basic political operating unit convention, it says here, after registering and entering the meeting room, the first thing I noticed was the stack of papers that had been placed on the seats. Most were campaign brochures, but one page in particular caught my attention. It was entitled, Open Letter to Ron Paul Supporters in the Fourth CD. It says here, and this is what it says. Just like four years ago, you flooded GOP precinct caucuses and are in the process of flooding the BPOU conventions and trying to push your delegates onto the CD state and national conventions. And that's fine. That's how the process works. And it goes on to say, what's worse is that, like four years ago, so very, 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 very many of you will never be seen again after your next round of conventions. You'll show up, do your bit. Let's see, show up, do your bit for Ron Paul, but not the GOP, and disappear, likely not to be seen again. There are some exceptions, but they are rare. Your commitment is to Ron Paul, not to the GOP, even in the context of changing the party into a more libertarian institution in the long term. What is... What are you crying? What is all this whining, man? Oh, you, you don't care about the GOP. You guys only care about Ron Paul. Forget y'all. Y'all ain't never care about us. You know what I'm saying? You ain't never care about the person who didn't go out and vote because 
The reason why people don't go and vote is they don't trust the two-party system. Now we got somebody infiltrating the Republican Party and trying to take it back to its roots, and you guys are upset with us because we're not going to come around afterwards. We don't want to come around. For what? What other candidates are there? Who else are we going to get excited about? Who else are we going to be helping to organize and promote? Who? Nobody else. Rick? Uh, Romney? I mean, the GOP is just ridiculous, man. They want everything to stay. They want to keep their power, keep their little magic wand. When we come and buy, we're going to swipe it. We're taking it from them. They can't handle it. It's going down everywhere, man. Just look at all the fraud that's going on, and we're exposing all of it. Let's see here. Keep it going. April 1st, uh, Real Clear Politics headline, Ron Paul supporters claim victories in Nevada. Supporters of Republican presidential candidate Ron Paul say they came away with all 75 delegates from Nye County and more than half of 108 state delegates from Douglas County in convention voting Saturday. But leaders of the Nye or NYE Republican Central Committee say they plan to appeal the vote to the state GOP credentials committee because Paul backers violated party rules and state law, prompting them to leave before the election. <clears throat> Quote, unquote, me and the others left early because the Paul supporters violated state law and were unruly and rowdy, said Faley A. Quativas, chair of the Nye GOP. Quote, I couldn't stand it anymore and gave up. In my heart and mind, I know I did the right thing. No, you know you did the wrong thing. To you, it just feels right. <laughs> Doing, being wrong just feels right to you guys. That's what it is. You don't feel right when you do what's right. Let's see here. Paul supporters maintain nine GOP leaders cheated by trying to convene the convention with unelected delegates, and they elected a chair who oversaw a fair election. Ralph McMullen uh, for the state Republican Party said it would be up to the credentials committee to decide whether the nine election was legal. The panel also will consider a similar controversy involving Carson City's state delegates. Quote, I don't care who wins as long as the rules are followed, McMullen said. We don't want a repeat of 2008. The main thing is you win it fairly and squarely. That's funny. You guys sound like us. That's what we're telling you guys. <laughs> you win it fairly and squarely. If you guys were winning fairly, if Rick Santorum won it fairly, or our Romney supporters win it fairly, then Ron Paul supporters aren't going to act out. We're not going to do anything illegal or wrong. But it's you guys that are in the wrong. This is happening in every state, all the conventions, everywhere we go. But, no, we're the ones breaking the rules. It's, it's amazing. You follow the rules means you're really breaking the rules. And then here today on examiner.com, headline, Victory for Liberty in Oklahoma. Let's see here. Oklahoma has five congressional districts. Per RNC rules, each district is allocated three delegates and three alternates. In spite of prior issues, a decision was made by grassroots liberty activists to fight only one fight, and that's delegates. And what was the end result? All three delegates, all three alternates, and the elector are open Ron Paul supporters. So the Liberty Movement is alive and well in central Oklahoma. So it looks like we took that district as well. So I just want to let anybody know out there, if you're listening, if your state is coming up, your district is coming up, you're trying to get more Ron Paul supporters out there, you're trying to get, uh, you got a table event coming up, you're trying to get more people to register, whatever the case is, call me and let's, uh, let's promote it. Let's get some more delegates out there. All right, we're coming to a break. We'll be back. <laughs> 